Nityandam, I welcome you back to yet another episode of this amazing Guru Disciple Relationship Series. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the divine blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, today, powerful cognition I want to share with you is about seeking. Seeking is life. Seeking is a space where we are yearning towards experiencing something that is unknown to us. So it is basically um, an adventure or a romance with the unknown. And Swamiji said that only when you keep the seeking alive in you, you uh, can actually uh, allow that super consciousness or the space of Paramashivatua to happen in you. So the seeking has to be kept alive. And in the Agamas, in the scriptures, one thing that Paramashiva is very clear about, and he says that the responsibility of a guru who decides to start a lineage is to keep the seeking alive in his disciples. So, if the responsibility of the guru is to keep the seeking alive in the disciples, and that seeking is life, therefore, for the disciple, guru is life. Because guru is nothing but seeking, having the space of seeking in your life. So that is one very uh, powerful cognition that I can share with you today about why the guru-disciple relationship. You have to keep your seeking alive. If you lose your seeking, you lose the space of possibility. And when you lose the space of possibility, you freeze yourself in a pattern and then your consciousness stop expressing and only mind, muscle memory and bio memory starts to just loop onto itself like, an, like, a, yeah, like a song that just loops forever. And in that you just age, you just die, life slowly um, slows down, the amount of prana in your body reduces and so on and so on. So keeping the seeking alive is of utmost importance. Therefore, having a guru in your life, having Swamiji um, as guru in your life is must because Swamiji will always put you into a space of deep, deep, deep seeking, whether it is through the way he responds to you, whether it is the way he is, or whatever he shares during the discourses, or whatever projects he assigns to you, whatever it is, he will always put you into the space of seeking. And that space of seeking is life. So with this, I'll see you guys in another episode. Uh, if you like, thumbs up, subscribe, put a comment below. If you have any questions, write them down. I'll answer them in the comments or in another video. With this, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Nitya Anand.